guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming an exciting video because it is like my second favorite time of the year, makeup wise, and you know what that means. It's time for the Sephora sale. The spring sale is right around the corner and I'm really excited for it because it's a great time of the year to get some products on sale that don't always go on sale and yeah, it's just a good time. So. I'm excited. Today I want to share my makeup basket on Sephora as well as my loves list. Now I've seen a lot of different types of these videos. I've done these videos in the past. Sometimes I am shopping for a million things. I've done many hauls. So I will show you guys. I think I have a Sephora VIB playlist on my channel and I will link it up in the cards for you guys to check out. Obviously, that's going to give you a ton of really good ideas on things that you might want to pick up during the sale. Now, the next sale is going to be in November, so there's quite a bit of a gap between the fall sale and the spring sale, um, and then a huge gap when you're waiting for spring to fall. So I like to stock up on a few things. So I want to talk to you guys about what I'm stocking up on, but I also want to mention I have talked about this on Instagram a little bit. Obviously, you know, I don't like to share too, too much about my personal life on YouTube, but we do have some things we want to do this summer. And so my husband's kind of like put his foot down and told me I can't really buy any makeup this year or like in the next few months. And I kind of need that structure in my life because I am a very spontaneous person. So I'll just like buy whatever I want, but I'm trying to save up because we have some things we need to get done. And so I'm trying to be a little more cautious this sale because I can't buy just like everything and that's okay because I pretty much have everything I need and I'm rambling now but what I'm trying to say is that this year it's going to be a little more toned down especially for the spring sale it's going to be mostly just stocking up on things I need uh, versus just like buying every makeup item and so yeah let's get into it I try not to clutter up my loves list because it just drives me crazy when my loves list is like super duper long. So let me just let it load here. And recently on my loves list, I added the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. This is a $34 foundation. And I've never actually tried anything from Bare Minerals. I always thought of them as like the mineral makeup company. Argo like not very full coverage. And so I was like, mm, no thank you. And so I saw this Bare Pro Foundation and I think I've heard a few people talk about it on YouTube. So I was like, okay, let me try it, maybe see if I like it. And it's $34, which I think is a decent price for a foundation. Usually a lot of the foundations I wear are like in that $40 to $50 range. So I'm a little bit curious to try Bare Minerals. If you guys have tried any of these products that I mentioned today, definitely let me know down in the comments. Obviously you'll be helping me out if you talk me out of some of these stuff. Um, let me know if you think I need it or don't need it. The other thing I did add to my loves list is kind of new. This is by Kevin Aquan and it's the Neo blushes that they just came out with. So they have that like ombre effect and he's come out or the brand has come out with these previously but I always felt like they were too light for my skin tone. These ones look like they have a little bit more pigment to it and I'm really interested in the one that is the sunset shade and the grape wine. Obviously I don't need both of them. If at most, I'll probably just get one just to see what the formula is like. I don't think I've ever really tried anything from Kevin Aquan either. So kind of curious about that particular product. See if I will enjoy it. Kind of fun. I don't think I'm actually going to buy any of this, but I do have two of the Pat McGrath Matte Trans Lipsticks on my list. I have a nice like red, blue, red, kind of like the color I have on today. But you guys, the thing is, I love the Pat McGrath lipstick formula, but I'm just not a fan of regular lipsticks. So it's kind of like pointless. I'm like, Karen, you really don't need to buy bullet lipsticks. It's the same reason I've stayed away from the ColourPop Lux lipsticks. I have one of them and I like it, but I just feel like the more I buy, the less I'm going to get any use out of them. So I'm trying to stay away. And then the other color from Pat McGrath that I want is the shade Flesh, which just looks like a perfect nude for my skin tone. So really interested in both of those, but I don't really think I'm going to get them. The other thing in here is the Sephora Favorites Lash to Go. So it's a kit, and basically you get miniatures of all of these different mascaras to try, and then you get a full-size mascara. So it's $28.00. 
And I may be considering this because I actually really like the Lancôme Monsieur Big Mascara. It's like my favorite high-end mascara and I think it's like $25 and I just can't bring myself to spend $25 on that mascara full price. So I thought this might be kind of a fun way to get some of those samples, get some samples of some other mascaras and then purchase the Monsieur Big at the end, but I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I should just buy the mascara I actually want instead of buying all these other mascaras and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, I thought that was kind of a cool set. I'm kind of curious about the Dior Nude Air Luminizing Powder. I almost bought this shade when I was in Vegas, but they were sold out, so I didn't buy it. It just looks like such a fun luxury product. I need a highlighter, like I need a hole in my head, so I probably won't get it, but it is on my loves list. The Sephora Collection Perfectionist Mist Nude Glow. I saw Desi Perkins mention this in a video, and it was kind of cool. It was like a spray-on highlight, and it looked really interesting to me, but uh, I honestly don't know if I'll actually buy it. I just kind of put it on my list just to like put it in place so I remembered it in case I wanted it. I also have the Sunday Riley The Influencer Clean Long Wear Foundation in the shade Tan with Neutral Olive Undertones. This foundation is going to retail for $42. It has not launched yet. I'm so excited to try the Sunday Riley Foundation. I have most of their oils here in my makeup collection and I'm hoping this foundation is just like the holy grail foundation for me, but we'll see, you know, that seldom happens just like that. So. I'm excited though. And then I have the Fresh Mask Party Treatment Trio. I don't think I'm actually going to get this. I have so many face masks. I really don't need to add any more to my collection. And this retails for $52. And it looks like they have a few different masks in this set. So it says it's a trio of their best-selling masks for smooth, hydrated, and glowing skin. Which sounds interesting, but Fresh is not cruelty-free. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that actually right now from my loves list. I also have the Whey Dry Texture Foam on here. I just really like Whey products as well as Dry Bar products and I think I saw this in a new section, like a Just In section, but it looks like there's one review and it's got one star and I really don't need more hair products. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that as well from my list. Sorry. Next thing is the Grande Cosmetics Grande Lash. Now I saw Andrea Matiliano talk about this in a video a while ago and she just said how she's seen really good results with her lashes and them growing and stuff and I don't really want to get anything that needs to be prescribed to me so I'm super duper curious about this Grande Lash. It is $65 but I feel like the sale is the perfect time to pick it up and if I don't see any results of course I'm going to return it. So that's something I'm pretty sure I want to get. I also have on here the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water in the scent Social Coconut. You guys know I love the scent of coconut and I was really, really tempted to pick up this product even during the Macy's sale that they did a couple weeks ago. But I really managed to talk myself out of it and I really don't see myself buying it at the Sephora sale either, but it is on my loves list and yeah, it's just something I'm curious about. I have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation here in the shade 9, Tan to Deep with Neutral Undertones. This is $64 foundation. I'm kind of on a low-key foundation no-buy. I know I said I want the Sunday Riley one, but I feel like that one is just one I'm just really, really curious about. I did purchase the Giorgio Armani foundation I think a couple of years ago, and I didn't really think the color match was right. So that's why I have this other color in here, but I don't think I'm going to get that this sale. I also have the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. That one also sounds like a really nice foundation. The only thing with that is it is very mattifying, so I didn't want to pick it up for the winter. And now that we're going into summer, it might work better for me, but honestly, I have so many foundations I just need to use up that I am not going to be picking that up. I also have the Giorgio Armani Beauty Maestro Fusion Makeup. That's also $64. That one has an SPF of 15. Again, just very curious about the Giorgio Armani foundations, but I won't be buying any of them during the sale. I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Waterproof All Day Extreme Wear Concealer, and this is $28. I love all the foundations I have from the Double Wear line. I have the Double Wear Water Foundation, I have the regular Double Wear, and then I have the 
double wear like camouflage foundation which is like my go-to for like flawless makeup days um so i'm like ooh, i'm still on the hunt for the perfect concealer and I thought since I love so many products from Double Wear line, maybe I'd like the concealer. But I have so many concealers I need to finish up first, so I will be passing on that. I also have a one ounce size of the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boosting Face Mask. This is a $25 face mask, but it's a smaller pot. And I was just really curious to have it, but... Again, I just really don't need any face masks. This was, I think, a day when I was looking for skincare. So there's a few skincare items I'm not going to get. So I'm just going to remove this. And then I have the um, First Aid Beauty Ginger and Turmeric Vitamin C Jelly Mask. That just sounds interesting. But I don't need it, so I'm going to remove all of that. Then I have the Pat McGrath Labs Perma Precision Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Extreme Black. This is a $28 eyeliner, which means the sale is the perfect time for me to get it. I tried her other liquid liner, which I think she discontinued because she came out with this new one. And uh, I'm excited to try it. Looks like there are 13 reviews on it, so it's pretty new, but I'm really curious. I always love a good wing liner, so if that's like a good one, because I love her eyeliner pencils, I'm excited to try it. Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. I actually already bought that guy and I like it so far quite a bit. So excited to have that in my collection. Quarterly Beauty Elixir Set. This one I'm really curious about the actual uh, Quarterly um, spray, their face spray. And I've just heard so many people talk about it for so long and I've never purchased it. I've smelt it in store a few times. I just have so many sprays, I like really can't justify buying it, but it's on my loves list because I'm really, really interested in it, and maybe someday I'll buy it. This is something I really kind of want to get to complete my Sunday Riley collection. I want the Sunday Riley UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. Now this particular one is supposed to be for like acne prone skin, and I must say I don't really have a ton of problems with acne, but I always preach prevention is better than cure so I kind of want to have that in my collection just so I can use it when I'm having kind of a bad skin day. I also have the Way Volume Spray in here. Clearly I was in the mood for like volumizing products but don't need it so I will be removing that from my list. I also want more things from Drunk Elephant but the price tag is insane. So I have two products from Drunk Elephant, the TLC from Bruce Glycolic Night Serum and the Drunk Elephant C from a Day Serum. I've heard nothing but good things about both of these products on YouTube. One is $90 and one is $80 and I just can't afford to spend that kind of money right now so I will just leave those on my list and uh, maybe pick those up some other time. I also heard Kathleen Lights talking a lot about the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate. I think that I'm at that age where I'm eventually going to start getting more fine lines and stuff like that. And she kind of talked about how this really visibly reduced her fine lines. And so I'm really curious, but it's $62. And I have a friend who's really into skincare. And she said, I believe it was either Kiehl's or Cora's that have a lot of like parabens and stuff in their products. She kind of talked me out of it. I can't remember which brand it is. So now I'm like kind of on the fence about it. I want to try this IGK Fo uh, FOMO Holographic Hair Foam, um, and it just seems really fun, but again, I don't really need it, so I'm going to skip on it. If you guys are really into like festival season, it might be a cool product for you guys to check out. I also have this First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Coconut Water Cream. Like I said, I love anything coconut, so I was like, hmm, maybe I'll get that at some point. And I actually have a little sample of the coconut primer, and it smells so good. So it really kind of makes me want the coconut water cream. I also have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glowing Sleeping Mask. This one I've seen all over YouTube. Everyone really is into it. But I'm actually going to pass and actually take this one off of my list because I've heard a lot of people say it's better for oily skin and I have very dry skin so I don't need that. Also have the Drunk Elephant Proteiny uh, Polypeptide Cream. I think this one I read was also geared to 
more oily to normal skin, whereas the Lala, Lala Retro Whip Cream was more dry skin. So I'm going to take this off too, just so I am not tempted. A brand I want to try this year is Stellar, and I have quite a th few things from them on my loves list. I have the Orion Cosmic Face Luster Trio, the Magnetic Eyeshadow Solar Palette, the Hyper Eyeliner Liquid Pencil, or liquid pen and the Cosmic Face Luster Powder, but I don't think I'm going to get any of that stuff because I really can't afford it right now. The Sephora Shave and Smooth Facial Razor. I've heard so many people talk about how they shave their face, and I really want to try it, but I just haven't gotten around to it, so right now I'm just not going to go there because I still have that Michael Todd face shaver that I bought and I have not used it yet so need to make that a goal. I have the Verb Waves and Texture Kit on here uh, but I'm not going to pick up any of that shampoo conditioner stuff from the Sephora sale. I have the Tatcha Luminous Deep Hydration Firming Eye Serum on here. This is an $85 eye serum. I don't have that kind of money. Don't think I ever will so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. The J1 Jelly Pack is supposed to be a dupe to a Drunk Elephant product that's supposed to be a really good primer, I think. Nikki Tutorials maybe had talked about it and I saw somebody else talk about it so I was like, ooh, maybe I should get that. But honestly, I'm not a believer of primer, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that because I don't need it. I also have a Sephora sheet mask set that was probably from Christmas on here, so it's out of stock, so I'm going to remove that. Clearly haven't looked at my loves list in a while. I have the Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. Everyone swears by this freaking product, but I cannot afford $80. So, just going to leave that right there. This Eve Loam Cleanser, I had a sample of it, and it is an amazing cleanser. It's just so luxurious feeling that it is very tempting, but it's $50, so I won't be getting it anytime soon. I have my Sephora Collection Foot Mask. Those are my trusty foot masks that I always restock on during a sale time. So that's in my loves list. I just like to keep it on there so I don't forget it. Makeup Geek recommended it in one of her favorites videos like years ago and I keep meaning to buy it but it's a $50 foot, bu foot buffer and I just... That's a splurge, like on a foot buffer, um, but I have really dry feet so I get really calloused feet after a couple of weeks after getting a pedicure. So I think it would be handy for me to have this product, especially if it works really well. Sephora has a really hard time keeping it in stock, so that tells me that it's a pretty decent product, so maybe someday I will pick it up. So that's everything that's in my Sephora loves list. Now we're going to switch to my Sephora basket. Now this is items that I will be picking up, like it's in my basket, I'm ready, I am prepped to go. So I was last night a little bit bored and I was actually looking at all the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks because that's like my favorite Kat Von D, like that's my favorite liquid lipstick formula. So I was like, gosh, I really want to add some like fun colors for spring and I feel like there's a lot of neutrals from her that I don't have. So I added a bunch of colors. I'm not going to get all of these Right, my, right now, my Sephora basket total is $686. That's probably because I added like $200 worth of liquid lipsticks on here, um, which like I just said, I'm not going to get all those liquid lipsticks. But if you guys have like ones for sure that I should get, let me know because I'm going to mention them. So the first shade from Kat Von D that I was like thinking would be fun is the shade called Miss Argentina. And it is described as a rich magenta. So I just thought it would be a really fun bowl shade to wear in the summertime. And then the other shade I have in here is Bow and Arrow. Now I actually bought Bow and Arrow a couple of years ago. And I thought it was too light on me, but the description on Kat Von D on the description on Sephora.com says it's a fawn nude. So I feel like I could maybe pull it off, but I'm just not sure. I feel like it didn't work so well for me last time, so maybe I won't get it. I'm not sure. The next shade I have is called Double Dare, and this is described as a cocoa blush. So I feel like it would look really pretty on me. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Lolita, but with more pink in it. So very curious about that shade. And then the next shade I have on here is Bahon 5, I think is how you say it. I'll put the name on the screen. And this is described 
as a deep raspberry shade so I feel like between that and Miss Argentina I'd have to pick I don't think I'd need both of those colors because they're pretty bold then I have Lovecraft in my basket as well and this is described as a mauve pink nude I'm kind of surprised I don't have it already because like who doesn't love a mauve pink nude like that sounds right up my alley but I'm just not sure and then I have the shade mother on here which is described as a dusty mauve again a great shade for me so really really curious about that and then I have two other shades I believe I have oh I have three other shades I have bachelorette which I believe is a bright uh, it's a sorry it's a dark reddish fuchsia again just looks like a really fun color for summer and then I have lovesick and Lovesick is described as a mauve nude, so again, just looks like a great everyday shade. And I love wearing my Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I love the formula. So comfortable. And so then the last shade I have is Berlin, which is described as a warm rose, which just looks like a beautiful summer shade. So I have a bunch of Kat Von D liquid lipsticks I kind of want to decide on. I recently picked up the shade Project Chimps. I'm so excited because I wanted that shade when it first launched and I was like Karen really like you don't need to pay for a shade like that and I deeply regretted after it like sold out and I didn't think it was coming back but it actually came back in stock on Kat Von D's website so I snatched that sucker up so this is definitely not my final basket but I can't see myself really adding anything else to this basket except for the Sunday Riley foundation that is not available yet so I can't add it but uh, yeah these are the things I'm going to get that are like part of my minimal Sephora haul this year so I need a new Sunday Riley Juno hydroactive cellular face oil I actually have one bottle and I'm almost done with it which is so exciting because let's be real it's so hard to finish product and I'm so excited because I love that Juno oil so, so much. It really got my skin through this winter. It's actually still winter in Fargo. So, yeah, anyway, really excited. Really hydrates my skin. I don't think I can live without that product. So I will be replenishing that one. And it is a $90 face oil. So it'll be nice to get at least... 15% off. I'm also getting my Makeup Forever ink liner. I like to have a backup of this because with liquid liners you just never know when it's gonna give out and this is just my go-to. It dries matte. I like the applicator. It definitely did take me a little bit of time to get used to it. I do love that product very much. The Beauty Blender Solid Pro Cleanser. I have one but I'm always going through these so I kind of want to buy one because I use the Beauty Blender Solids to clean all my face sponges as well as my makeup brushes so I feel like I'm going to need to have a backup of this so that is on my list I've also heard really good things about the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder this one people say it's like feels like water so it just sounds really interesting and I'm very intrigued by this product so I thought I would maybe pick it up during the sale because I think it'll be an interesting thing to try out I love the Pat McGrath eye pencils so I decided to get the shade Blitz Blue which I don't have I don't usually wear a lot of color in my waterline but I thought it would be nice to add a few more shades to my collection I also have the Tarte Mermaid Treasures custom magnetic palette it is such a cute little like magnetic palette and it's $17 but I really don't want to pay a full price for it the thing with these palettes though is that you can't see what's inside it until you actually open it which kind of bothers me so I might not buy it because honestly I don't think I'll use it I recently acquired some of these ones from Ulta Beauty and sometimes you can get these for ten dollars which I think is an insanely good price right now in here I have all my ColourPop eyeshadows like the uh, singles from them and the Tarte ones I have the this kind which is what they came out with originally so this is like really well made and stuff here are my colored rain singles but I love being able to just like look through this plastic and see what is in there instead of having to open these up so I think I might actually pass on the Tarte one you know what I'm just gonna remove it right now so I forget all about it and don't spend my money on that so yeah after removing things I'm at $593 even 
I have some gift cards I need to use up and of course I'm not going to get all of those Kat Von D liquid lipsticks but if you guys have any like suggestions on which shades I would I should get I would be highly appreciative 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 I can't say that word anyway let me know what's on your Sephora sale list I'm super curious you guys keep in mind you don't need like 800 backups of things you know just get like the few essentials that you know you're definitely gonna run out of I would definitely say on big big purchases that you can wait on just wait until you can get 20% off because why not plus the fall sale has like all the cool Christmas stuff and stuff like that so that's my strategy this year usually I go buck wild on the sale but like I had mentioned in my intro Got a few big girl bills to pay so we are going to have to wait on that but i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for spending time with me and i will catch you guys on the next one bye